Tonight by Frank Sinatra. I absolutely love this song. I love Frank Sinatra. Anytime I get the chance to use a Frank Sinatra song, I'm down. So the cover that we're using today is a gorgeous acoustic cover and I will have the cover artist's information and the link where you can check out the full song down below in the description, so make sure you check that out. But let's go ahead and get started. Also, I apologize in advance. He's a handful today. Um, he really enjoys looking out the curtain. He won't look out the window if I, if I open the window, but he will absolutely look out the window if the curtain is down and you can't see through it. You cannot see through that curtain. So he's just going to be special today and we love him for it, right? He did this all throughout the advanced video as well. So you going to be good? You going to be a good boy? No, he's going to stare at the window. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So we begin with three full lap heels and a ball change. So it starts with one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you ball change left, right. So full lap heel, there's three of them. Push step, heel, push step, heel, push step, heel, and then ball change left, right. So let's do that together. Ready? Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Goodness, if you, if you pull the curtains down, I will be so angry. <laughs> Y'all see him? He's trying to just... Let's try that one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, all change. Awesome. Now your left foot's free. You're going to do the exact same thing, but on the left foot. So it's left, right, left, and now you right, left, ball change. So let's do the left side real quick. Five, six, seven, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good, let's try that together. Right and left. So start with the right foot. Five, six, seven, eight. Scratch of the curtain and just pull the whole thing down. If he does that, 
um, on camera, I'm gonna like take a slow motion clip and do like the the banana song Gwen Stefani thing with it. It'll be hilarious. Hi. <laughs> the few times I've been around that track. I'm gonna do that with that clip if he does it. All right, so let's move on to the next part. Bento, why are you like this today? All right, so you just did. That was the left side. So your right foot is free. You have three paradiddles that are nice and slow. You have big, straight, step, heel, big, straight, step, heel, big, straight, step, heel. So a paradiddle is one of those steps that I have a tutorial for. If you've never done a paradiddle before and you want to learn how, check the step tutorial playlist down below. And it has, I think I'm up to like 31 steps on the list. It's one of the first few steps, I think. Just check for paradiddle, click the link, watch the video, learn the step, and then come right back to this video. So, but to go over it super quick, it's just dig, spank, step, heel. And then you switch your weight into your heel so that you can use the other foot. Dig, spank, step, heel. So you do three of them, right, left, right. So let's do that together. Dig, spank, step, heel. Five. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Your left foot is free. You're gonna pot a boo ray. So basically, you're just gonna step back, put all your weight on it. You're gonna step side, and then you're gonna stamp down. So you have back, side. So if you've done jazz dance before. Just like in jazz, it's a pas de bourre. You have this up, up, down kind of thing. If you've never done jazz before, you've never done a pas de bourre before, it's just step back, step out, step up. So let's do the paradiddles to the pas de bourre. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, step, step, step. If the pattern of the step totally messes you up, that's okay. Just to get through the dance, you can just go step, step, step. Just do three steps. All change. Totally fine. So let's do that one more time, and then I'll add the next part. Three paradiddles and a pot of bourree. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold eight. Awesome. So I'm nervous because I can't see Bento right now, and that's when I'm most nervous, when I don't know where he is. So if your right foot's free, you have four dig steps to the front. So you just dig, and then drop your toe. Dig, toe, dig, toe, dig, toe. So you're just kind of walking toward the front of your board. One, and two, and three, and four, and. And then you have a crib roll, nice and slow. Five, then you ball change, but there's a space between. Ball change. So it's like the slowest ball change you, you'll ever do. So it's one and two and three and four and step, step, heel, heel, ball change. So the cramp roll, it's another one of those steps that is on that playlist, to, or on that step tutorial playlist. So a cramp roll is just step, Right, left, and then drop your heels in the same order. Right, left. Are you going to do a cramp roll? Come do a cramp roll with me. <laughs> Hi. So that was dig, step, dig, step, dig, step, dig, step. And then you have step, step, heel, heel, ball, change. So let's do that together. Ready? All right, let's do it. Five, six, seven, eight.
All right, one more time, and then we will try the whole thing. Let's add it on to the flat section. Ready? Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one. Did you just figure out that you could go behind the curtain? All right, let's try it with music. That's so special. <laughs> he really is, though. <laughs> Y'all, what am I going to do? Let's do that again. We got this. that you get to work on in context to a beautiful song. So let's do it. One more time. Okay, 
So let's walk through the whole thing from start to finish. From Kalak heel. Five, six, seven, And that's how it all fits together. So let's try it with music. We've got this the first time. So it's the first time we kind of just try it with the music, see how it fits. We listen to how it's supposed to go. We try to make it work with our feet. And we're just really like figuring it out. Okay, cool. This is what it's supposed to sound like. So the first time doesn't count. The first time is not the one that's supposed to be like your best shot, okay? Although, if you're filming something, here's, here's like an interlude tip. If you're filming something, always film the practice shot. Always film the run through because that, that might be your best shot. You never know. I have, I have done that where it was like our best take was the one we didn't film because we were just practicing. Always film the practice take. All right. to go. Let's do it again. This time get a little bit more comfortable with it.
scratching your carpet. We have tap bloopers. That's the reason to subscribe to this channel. Um, <laughs> uh, we have tap tutorials like that, like choreography tutorials like this of all levels. I've got uh, technique exercises. I've got step tutorials in the playlist I mentioned down below. I've got vlogs that like give you advice on how to be a better tap dancer or just like talk about performing and stuff like that. Lots of fun content on the channel, so make sure that you subscribe and thumbs up for Bento because thumbs up for Bento. Bento. No? You just okay, he wants to stare at the curtain again. They're blackout curtains. I know they're not doing their job right now, but you cannot see out of these curtains. There's he can't see anything, I promise you. But he is so interested. So, thumbs up for Bento for this video. Thumbs up also helps other tap dancers find this video a little bit easier, but for today, thumbs up for Bento. And uh, yeah, I always have so much fun teaching you guys. I love being your YouTube teacher. And as always, thank you for dancing with me. You can't see out the window. <laughs>